G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is converting from fractions to decimals. And then, a little bit more difficult, we're going to have a look at converting back from decimals to fractions. It does require a little bit more work, okay, but we'll be looking how to do that anyway. It's a, it's a really handy little trick. Now, um, so first off we're going to be looking at converting from fractions to decimals. So I'll, I'll give you an example here. Say we go, um, I'll give you a fraction here. I'll, we'll write down the, the one we'll convert is 3 eighths. Now look, you may already know this as a decimal, but I'll show you how we can work this out. So one way of thinking about fractions is that it is the division between two numbers. Um, so example here, 3 eighths is literally 3 divided by 8. Okay, we could describe that as. So we can actually work this out as a decimal by going 3 divided by 8. So let's do this. Uh, so we, we're going to work this out not using calculator. We're going to work this out using a standard uh, division type sum. So uh, let's do this. So 8, and this is going into 3. But because this is going to be a decimal, I'm going to end up putting a bunch of decimal places here that we can work with and you, you'll see why these are really valuable as we go along. So let's start this division out. So I'll put the decimal place up here where it's going to go. So 8 into 3 we can't do. So I'll put a 0 there and so what we do is we carry this 3 across. Okay. So 8 into 30 now. 8 into 30, well that goes 3 times because 3 eighths are 24. Okay, so how much is left over? There is 6 left over because 3 eighths is 24. So, 8 into 60. Okay, so 7 eighths of 56. So it's 7. And because 7 eighths of 56, there is 4 left over. Okay, so we're left with, now we have 40 here. So 8 into 40 goes 5 times. Okay, and there's no remainder. So we've got what we call a terminating decimal answer here. It's, it's, it's finished, there's no remainder, so this decimal is now terminated. And that is our answer, okay? So 3 eighths as a decimal is 0.375. Okay, so I'll give you another example of this. Um, what about one where we, we don't get a, a, a terminating answer like that? I'll give you an example of this. Would be, say we had, say, something like... Uh, Two thirds. So two thirds. Uh, again, you could think about this as being two divided by three. So let's do this. We'll get the th oop, we'll get the uh, the three there, and we're going to put this into two. So decimal places here: zero, 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 zero. Okay, four will be nice and handy there, and the decimal place will line up. So three to two we can't do. So I'll put a zero there. And I'm going to carry this 2 across. 3 into 20, because this is now 20. 3 into 20 goes 6 times. Because 6 threes are 18. And there's 2 left over. Okay, now we've got 2 here, so the 2 is being carried. Because 2 left over, we've got 20 here. So 3 into 20 goes 6 times. Because <laughs> 6 threes are 18. There's 2 left over. Going to carry that 2. We've got 20 again. 3 into 20. What do you think that will be? Right, so again, that's 6 times. Carry the two, three into twenty goes six times. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to that's going to keep going on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. In fact, we can write this as follows. We can actually write this as equals zero point six. And we put this little dot up here, and what this little dot up here means that we have a recurring decimal, which is just going to go on forever and ever and ever. This will continue to be a six. So this is what this little dot up here means. If ever you see that, by the way, so you don't have to write six 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 and keep working it out. You just put the 0 0.6 with this recurring dot here. So that's how we go about changing a fraction into a decimal. So next up, let's have a look about how to convert decimals into fractions. So I'm going to put a link to that on our next video. So I'll see you then. Okay, bye.